Let's check this out. We'll turn on the slide after. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hello, hello, good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. This is Chicho, and welcome to another live stream. Today is January 18th, 2021, and this is an unscheduled live stream, uh, sort of continuation of the crystal, mineral, fossil, rock viewing that we we're doing yesterday we didn't get a chance to look at all the my whole collection and uh it's we need to take a look at the whole thing we need to take a look at the whole thing because there's been um, a few people that have been waiting for this uh stream to come along and uh i sort of washed everything cleaned everything so everything's in perfect shape for viewing so I thought we continue our live stream and take a look at these crystals and this is going to be part three actually yesterday's stream sort of we had a snag in the middle so we broke up last uh, yesterday's stream into two parts which will be uploaded on different platforms uh, uh, YouTube, Bichut, uh, Odyssey and the Rumble uh, sort of back to back so this is going to be the third sort of the crystal mineral stream that we're doing taking a look at my collection through a lens and this lens is fantastic um, and I'm seeing these uh, these crystals in, in, in a light that I hadn't seen before uh, really close up because I've never taken a I might have taken a magnifying lens and looked at a couple of these very close up but I've never looked at everything on a a lens on this level right lions how are you doing hope you're doing well uh, I saw the pic in Ireland of those crystal structures man I would love to walk on those I would love to walk on those the what was it the God's bridge or something like this birdie here how are you doing hope you're doing well good morning good morning I'm gonna give a quick little intro uh, and then we're gonna get into the crystals and Holden who's how are you doing welcome welcome and thank you for the tier one sub <laughs> awesome awesome hey Chicho how are you doing brother I hope you're doing well the facet hey man finally caught a stream awesome you caught a great one man we're gonna keep on looking at uh, uh, crystals and minerals and rocks and I have a, I still have a couple of more fossils I was taking a look at the stuff this morning I was gonna actually start a little earlier but the leaf collectors came by and they set up right here and they turned on their machinery it was like really noisy so i was like damn felix how are you doing good morning good morning giant's causeway that's what it's called yeah a few people try to walk across before the tide comes in <laughs> i would love to try that out you need to watch the new attack on titan season the episode yesterday was absolutely hot oh, dude i wait um uh we're getting ready for the kitty cats to come in two days they're going to be here as soon as they're here as soon as their space is ready for two kittens that are like five months old because we've got to make it kitten proof because they're curious little creatures they're going to get in everywhere right and we want to we want to make sure they don't get any and no harm comes to them right they eat the wrong thing or get into trouble uh, and we're going to slowly introduce them to our space so as soon as that happens i'm hopping on attack on titan Attack on Lion saying Attack on Titans on Titans so good. Are the um, are the rocks multifaceted? Multi multifaceted. I'm not sure what that means. Ah, because you're the you're the facet. Ha ha ha. Funny, funny, funny. Uh, gang, quick intro. I am on Patreon. For those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support. I just got a message from someone else that jumped jumped on Emma. Thank you for jumping on and supporting this work. Very much appreciate it. Uh, send me a nice little message uh, and thank you for the love. Uh, so gang, those of you who are supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support. And for those of you who want to know what this is about, I am on Patreon. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. We jump all over the place, but everything's layered on mathematics. And you're going to see how the crystals are layered on mathematics. I cannot wait to start a series on the geometry of crystals and we're gonna get into it that was one of my original plans as well to get into the mathematics of nature right and we will definitely get into it 
okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat 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 right here twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who are supporting this work on twitch thank you very much for the support and as always mods thank you for taking care of business i do announce these live streams for the scheduled ones 30 minutes before we go live on mines lo vk gap parlor when it comes online again and twitter and a few minutes before we go online on all those platforms as well felix chicho i've heard recently that people in the uk where i live who've been filming empty hospitals that are supposed to be absolutely packed or being arrested what are your thoughts now felix we got to hit that up on politics we can't talk about that because we're going to upload this video on censor too um, but that being said i'm going to be appearing on uh, so on politics stream for sure uh we can talk about it and thank you cheryl uh but on wednesday i'm going to be uh sort of a uh appearing on a on a new uh sort of a um, sort of a uh group of people on a new channel on youtube sensor tube and it's called facts on the ground and um we're going to talk politics and economics and on wednesday we set up the meeting at 11 o'clock and they're going to have their they're going to upload their video they set the day of or the next day so the, it depends where the conversation takes us on that level felix uh, maybe we talk about some of those things and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a journalist and publisher that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information on a julian assange and wikileaks playlist and for live streams that we don't have any visuals which we do today we upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes eduardo how are you doing hey hey are these your collections still or is this your partner this is still my collection and just in case we got a little bit of time i grabbed six pieces from my partners that we've seen in the original video the mineral video we put out uh that if we have time i'm going to show you the close-up of those if we don't get to those okay we're going to take a look at a close-up of all of or most of my partner's collection that you've seen from the original video close up under the lens i would love to take a look at her some of her crystals and minerals under this lamp under this lens because she has some beautiful pieces beautiful pieces right but <laughs> how are you doing yo my man if you had a two, 20 20k to invest into any mineral which one would be any mineral any mineral i would have to do research on that if i had 20k there's different places i could put money in uh, personally i would put money into what we're doing i would buy a ton of equipment uh, uh, and you know upgrade my systems to be able to kick things up a notch right uh whatever was left over i would invest in comic books and a couple other things as soon as the market does a correction i would jump on uh to a couple of things not necessarily wall street but other things as well and we will be uploading this video to sensor tube bitchute rumble and odyssey and you can follow this work uh follow the content that we're creating on all those platforms everything gets loaded on bitshoot rumble and odyssey sensor 2 will not allow us to load everything on there so you're only getting a partial uh, view of what we're creating most of it anyway uh, less 10 percent probably in the coming years less 20 to 30 percent of content that we're creating on sensor 2 okay aside from that i'm taking these things down gang let's start looking at this stuff oops where is this guy there it is boink nice uh ding bobber how are you doing hey chicho i have to ask listen to 
any Benjamin Clementine yet? No, not yet, brother. I haven't had the time. I finally digested the album. Have you? I'm waiting uh, until I have clear mind uh, and time to loop all the tracks that we decided to listen to. Eagles and cycling. How are we doing? Hey, Chicho. What are your thoughts on sun, warmth, and mental state? Sun is crucial for our mental health. Okay. I hear people who live in less sunnier warm places often complain how they must go get sun don't you think it's a state of mind the health um, of your inner self not where you live I no. I think we need the Sun in my part of the world we get cloudy and rainy fall and winter basically cloud rain the whole time right in the Sun and I'm a firm believer in uh, clothing optional beaches so when I was living in Vancouver, we had a clothing optional beach and I would be there multiple times a week and I go birthday suit, right? I believe our whole body needs the sun and I think that's a huge part of living a healthy life. Okay, huge part of living a healthy life. My favorite was the gates of greetings, blessings, Dr. P. Gang, I'm going to turn on the light. Boop. I'm gonna turn off this camera. Let's take a look at the crystals. Jupiter was amazing also. Sunny people are always happier. So are people happier in Southern California or Spain or Hawaii? Except I don't know if they're happier or not. Uh, what I know is you we need sun for good health. And if you're healthier, then in general, you should be happier, okay? Because, you know, as the toasting goes, as our elders will always tell us to your health right very important chicho in canada you should take vitamin d during the winter i am now i am i never really used to because i got a lot of sun in the summer but i've gone to an area where i can't find any beaches that are clothing optional so uh, i'm not going uh, to those beaches as often so i'm taking vitamin c supplement facet hey i went magnet fishing and caught a pebble with my magnet <laughs> I've, I've looked on the internet and it's a magnet it's more than likely to be a meteor could this be true it could be magnetite here if we're starting there i'll show you i showed you guys check this out i showed you guys yesterday my magnetite right i found a couple of other pieces that are magnetized so this is this is a magnet we have and this is my magnetites, right? 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 Right. Let me take down my video. We'll take a look at the magnetite first since the question came up. Doop, 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 doop. Where are we? Let's take this down and this down. Okay. So take a look. We looked at this yesterday. This is magnetite. And this one has ferrometallic in there but it doesn't hold the charge i remember we did we hold the magnet to it a little bit and for this one it charges it up a little bit and then slowly becomes a little bit magnetic right i can feel it like take a look like you can move it a little bit right because the magnet was there it's not like these ones but take a look at these ones like take a look at these ones this one and this one these are two other magnetites i have right take a look at the crystal structure on these let's see if it's see that right so it does have a crystal structure okay okay very cool and this is in uh felt spar sort of quartz mix same with this right and there is a crystal structure to magnetite ding bob or chicho you ever heard of uh, rainbow rose quartz uh rainbow rose no rose quartz yeah i got my cousin a point of one of for christmas a good five inch uh um sharpened to a point really rainbow quartz i don't know so take a look and there is a crystal element to it, right? You see the planes, the reflections on those? 
very cool and again this is inside of uh, quartz right? and there's most likely felspars in there too right and mica is probably as well right now take a look here's my magnet right right see that magnetite right and it's really strong right right and this one too this one is not as strong because it's got it's not as dense the magnetite on there right sapphires nice hey chicho like a kid in the sweet shop with these crystals yeah for sure right so that's cool right and again take a look at the comparison this one the crystals structure is very dense it cooled rapidly this one cooled a lot slower that's why you see the full crystal structures on these right so these are really fine and this one you see some of the crystals so the fine one is a lot stronger magnetic because it's denser this one less so right the coding optional beaches thing is fantastic uh, this past summer in croatia we found secluded beaches that that feeling all these oh dude i miss it so much i miss it so much super cool so I'm gonna keep these guys all the magnetic uh, magnetized together magnets in my pockets and cell phone uh, magnets block I, I barely ding bobber I barely I never really carry cell phones in my pocket I don't think it's a good idea okay take a look at this one take a look at this this is God for sure again this is quartz lots of quartz right and this is gotta have some pyrite and when you have pyrite right you also have other ferrometallic minerals and other sort of minerals pyrite is sort of an indicator of other uh, minerals that uh, sometimes can lead to uh, good mining deposits right very cool sometimes when i look at our rock young polak says i think to myself how old is that how old is that rock what's the history of the terrain right very cool lions chicho do you believe in crystals give off energy and have healing properties so to speak i do believe they give off energy energy sort of resonance right you can use it for vibrations there's quartz watches right they use the they put a little bit of uh, uh, energy into the quartz crystal and the quartz crystals resonate at a certain frequency so you can definitely create a certain frequency on the uh, on the crystals and do they have serious healing powers i think some do uh i think it's a there is some placebo effect or if not a lot uh but i think whatever gives you uh allows you to heal uh more power to you uh being i blunt i think it's ridiculous but one of my friends she loves her crystal and believes they give off energy and stuff uh, it, there's no doubt that crystals can focus energy like we use optics we can use um, crystals for lasers so they can definitely be used to focus energy generate energy uh, they have a resonance uh, beyond that uh, you know I don't know the science well enough beyond my physics bachelor's and mathematics bachelor's minor right this thing i forget what this is called it's got a silky feel to it um 
it's very cool it's layered I don't know the name of it, but it's layered fine crystals of mica. Okay, and it gives it a silky feel. I forget what it's called. Uh, it's not soapstone, but it's soft. It can be soft anyway. Okay, pretty cool. It's got a nice glare to it. softer bendable bendable i don't have any bendables but soft for sure here take a look powdery take a look this thing this rock i had was solid rock 30 years ago okay 20 years ago but slowly it's been weathered see that it's just falling apart now right i don't know what it is it's like crumbly oh my god just totally breaks off right see that but it was fully solid when i picked it up let's see if you can focus on that right And this, uh, these guys here are for my plants that seed a lot, right? So this thing, I take a look. Right? Let me put this guy here. And here's another one that going through, let me give my hands a nice little wipe as you can tell i've been through these rocks uh some just taking a look at them just coming here and here is a sort of a clay that again this was solid when i went to uh, sort of organize my crystal uh crystal crystals and rocks the area that i keep them i picked it up and it just just broke apart right take a look let's see if i'll focus if i bring one of them close see that right, and you can just break it. it just falls apart that's the reason this is one of the reasons uh brick houses in uh, areas where you know there earthquake activity not a good idea to be inside a brick house if there's an earthquake they don't bend they break right they break hello chicho this looks like some awesome how are you i'm doing fantastic on this beautiful morning and here's another one so i took all the rocks that i had that were falling apart and i put them in plates i gotta sort these out so this was one complete piece as well right and take a look at this thing this thing's super oh jesus christ that would have been loud sorry gang take a look let's see if this is focusing this will focus sorry about that sharp sound hey come on epstein how are you doing come on focus let's see Oh, 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 there you go. Take a look at that thing. Super cool. Like it's got a bubbliness to it. Right. Nature is loud. Super cool. It's all cosmos, really. It looks like broccoli, yeah. I think this would have cooled very fast, right? And there's like quartz in the bottom of it. Right? I think that's quartz. And this just looks like 
mineralization up top right it looks like an underwater plant yeah looks like you know what it looks like it looks like those uh, volcanoes in Hawaii when you see the lava uh, go into the water and it forms like bubbles coming out super cool looking I really like this. It looks like brains. Right? And here's a lot of pyrite. Right there. See that? And again, this was all attached together, right? So you can see some of the bubblings there. Or the round brainy looking thing i'm not sure what mineral this is there's got to be sulfur because it's got the yellow right here's another one that fell apart just crumbled look at this one and these ones are little pyrite crystals i believe in there they just fell apart a long time ago but take a look at this mineral deposits really here slick me for my materials lecture in college my lecturer does this exact same kind of video bringing in his rocks and crystals and it always makes me think of you and your collection also for your materials lecture nice engineering yeah this thing's like totally falling apart. Materials are super cool. It's a universe on its own, right? And there's so much new materials that we've yet to discover or to create, really. Pretty cool. Should we crack this open? I think these are all pyrites put it in a in a bag a long time ago I'm gonna crack it open just for us to take a look at it <laughs> nice here's pyrite crystals take a look little pyrite crystals and they're cubic right my partner has a really large pyrite Let's see if it'll focus. Take a look. Right? Super cool. Fool's gold. Fool's gold. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Who will pay me one thousand dollars for this? Fun. Fun. The big crystals of pyrite are awesome. The big crystals of pyrite are awesome. I'll put this here and sort it out in a different bag later. They look like shiny little dust particles. You could break it down and I wonder how many people in history fell for this and gave up a huge fortune for this. All right. Well, as long as we're doing plates, let's do another one. Here is uh, I showed some of these before my beach rocks. Here's another one. Again, it's crumbly. Right. Like an aerial view of landscape. Yeah, Chicho's charlatan boy <laughs> is on point. This guy's cool. The red is just oxidization of something, right? I don't know what that is. I don't think it's quartz with minerals. Top. 
but it might be. I wish I knew the names. I used to have little labels. All of these displayed in the display case with little written labels on each of them. And I still have the labels. I just have to match them to my minerals, to this collection. Look at that. What a landscape. This guy is super cool. It's fairly smooth. Beautiful color to it. The top must have been exposed more because it's more red, more oxidized, I believe, right? So this would have been uh, on exposed to the elements more. And this part would have, again, you can tell it, it was broken off of a larger piece. So it was less oxidized, hence more yellow than orange. Oh, wood collections yeah indeed I have something similar I've never figured out what it is I don't know what this is either this has got to be uh, the host mineral uh, with impurities of a lot of iron I think but what is the host mineral I don't know maybe it's just pure mineral of some kind and it's got a very nice smooth feel to it really and I got this thing I really don't know what this is I think this is uh, sort of clay or shale from a sort of an ocean area where it was really highly weathered Yeah, I'm thinking uh, Slick McClay as well. And all of these are like solid in there. It's cool, I like it. And then my beach rocks, three of my beach rocks I strode yesterday. Take a look at this. Here's one more of the quartz crystals right, that I have with mineralization of other mineral maybe just more quartz that was forming on top of the quartz crystals super cool looks like an alien yeah the other one did for sure eduardo this one's like very cool it's quartz mineralization on top of another crystal and the other crystals i don't know what those are i'm assuming those are quartz as well but don't really know And on, well, this is the top. One way to figure out what this stuff is, you look at the bottom, right? And you can tell it's quartz, right? And then there's what are those minerals there? come on here and then you see the full-on crystals coming into play and then the little little guy 
guys. Look at that. That's crazy cool. Gang, thank you for the follows and the subs. I like it. I like it. Here's another one that's very similar to this that I showed that it was smooth, but it's more white. And again, this one is very smooth as well. This one with the greenish, I'm assuming it's got a little bit of olive in there. This one doesn't. But see this? This guy is more of the color of the inside there, the layer there. I forget what this is. I used to know this. Lots of mica, lots of mica. See those planes just reflecting? Lots of mica, lots of mica. Here's another. Gang, don't forget. Free Assange, free Assange. He just doesn't want to focus on. There we go. Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power for humanity. More on our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist and of course you can follow their social media wikileaks and get information as to what is going on there there's feldspars and quartz and maybe little pyrite crystals Cool. Check out this one. This is quartz crystals. And then with some kind of I guess this must be rose quartz on top. So you got quartz crystals and then the pink I'm assuming is rose quartz. But I really don't know what gives it the pink color. Trace iron, bitstorm, yeah? Titanium or magnesium makes a rose. Oh, that's cool. Titanium, really? Magnesium as well, eh? Very cool. Here's a big chunk of quartz. I love my quartz and then uh, I'm not sure what gives it the blackness just reading off wiki cool. the blackness must be mica right the the really dark but then the smokiness this is smoky quartz right I'm pretty sure anyway so the question is what gives it the smoky color 
right? So magnesium, iron, trace iron, and titanium gives course the rose color. What gives course the smoky dark color? It can't be mica because you don't see the little flakes of mica. What's this? There's a little crystal there. I don't know what that is. So there's a little bit of rustiness in there. So there must be iron in there. The smoky color results from silicon formed from the silicon dioxide by natural irradi irradiation. Very <laughs> cool. Now we know. Now we know. Thank you very much, Bitstorm. Cool. And it's got a very nice feel to it. As you can tell, I like quartz. I like quartz. Take a look at this one. I don't know what this is. It could be petrified, uh, like resin, the tree resin or something. Oh, I forget what it's called, but I don't think so. And it's not wood, like it's not petrified wood. What is this? I must have known many, many moons ago because I made it into my collection. Flint. into the smoothness of it flint was used by the native americans to create arrowhead or and weapon and it has a waxy appearance like that really it is really hard like it's you can't scratch it with your fingernail anyway and it is really hard okay fetish for rocks no that is 100% okay. I'm going to allow your comment. Allow. Boop. Very hard to identify stuff from video. Very hard to identify stuff from a video indeed. Here's another feldspar. We've looked at feldspars yesterday, right? And feldspars. Actually, is this feldspar? Because this is soft. Uh, see that here let me show you feldspar in general is hard right so if i put my fi fingernail on there see take a look let me show it to you close up right so that's the structure of it right there's definitely crystal structure to it right damn it looks like it would uh break in my hands be careful be careful but take a look at it. It is solid. It's hard, but you can scratch it. So take a look at it. I'm going to scratch there, right? See that? So you can scratch it. I'm not sure. So that's why I say I don't know if it's feldspar or not. It's not soapstone. You can't scratch a felspar with your uh, thumbnail. Felspar is a is a six on the mole scale. Yeah, so I don't know what this is. The structure seems to be the same. Like for example, here's we looked at some felspar yesterday, right? But here are felspars green, right? But these ones I can't scratch. Like no way, and it's smoother than this, right? So here's green felspar. And I love the greenness of the feldspar. I don't think green feldspar is as common. The B 
big gray rock in the background is we looked at it yesterday it's uh it's shale with fossils in it This guy's shale with lots of fossils on it. And we looked at this one yesterday too. We looked at that one yesterday too. Here, I'll show you this one again. Just Speedy Gonzalez stuff. It's pretty heavy, right? So it's tons of fossils. You got shells in there, trilobites in there, and whatnot, right? There's a chunk of some fossilized animal, right? I'm guessing some kind of uh, trilobite. Bridges might be worth getting the Crystal Bible by Judy Hall. There's about three books in the series. Cool, cool, cool. To identify crystals, photos, uh, their photos raw and polish form cool here's more of that smooth stuff these guys right these guys right but these ones take a look at this one it's super smooth right look at that that's definitely the mica mica there right focus my hand isn't letting it focus so this is again I don't know the name of this guy here's another quartz crystal right lots and lots of crystal yeah this is this one is shiny for sure take a look like look at the glow on that the reflection that's what mica does right it's a perfect reflector right well in terms of rocks anyway not as well 12 years year old me was but i still know a bit yeah when i was younger i knew more about the rocks than i do now and by the way hello absurdicon how are you doing stones are so cool to be honest I'm so angry my father made me throw mine out. Oh no. That's like throwing out a comic book collection. I had a natural tiger's eye and didn't know the value back then. Oh no. Oh, here comes a leaf blower collector again. These ones are very well defined. Look at that. Beautiful, very solid. And it's got some black mineralization in there. I don't know what the black mineralization is there. Do you life next door to my neighborhood? piece of course very pretty very pretty sort of con very pretty I love it and it's got a well-defined shiny surfaces right the planes the crystal planes beautiful Looks like there's a vein of something there too. 
milky quartz is that what do they call it due to the cloudiness of the crystal cool milky quartz milky quartz right. uh, most of these I collected in the field that's where I got most of my collection okay there are some of these that were bought from like mom and pop places that when we went on field trips uh, there were families that had little basements full of rocks that they sold to schools that went there uh, for field trips and stuff which was super cool let me show you here okay I'm gonna show you one of my partners quartzes okay check this out look at this one here's a quartz crystal right I was gonna hold this off if we had time to take a look at it because it's not part of my collection it's my partner's collection but since we're looking at quartz this is a huge quartz crystal right you can see the planes right it's sort of the same planes as this right so this is a bigger version of this of one of these right and it's got min mineralization of something else on top right see that that's the layer of mineralization on top of the quartz crystal and supposedly it's uh, it's rare to get this from what my partner tells me to get quartz crystals with this type of mineralization on it okay it's a beautiful piece it's a beautiful piece right Cheryl's like fantastic here let's take a look see if we can focus on that look at that like what a trippy thing eh? look at that oh wow wow Just imagine rock climbing this if you find gigantic version of this. Look at that layer. Very cool, very cool. Makes me want to go outside, crafter. Indeed, indeed seriously like there's so much you could spend a day looking at this thing look at that you got to have the one look at this thing like so cool right go 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 tomorrow i'll go outside and look at that this is the courts right Let's continue with my collection. Here's another igneous rock. Lots of quartz, lots of mica, lots of felspar in there, most likely. Lots of mica, black mica. The original Pokemon. <laughs> Pandemic watch, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, how are you today, man? Oh, that's a fine specimen indeed. That crystal, the quartz one, for sure dragons notifications never went out oh they never went out too bad too bad here's another quartz just a nice quartz it, it doesn't have the crystallization probably in minute scale it does right but nice quartz nice shine to it right which not sending out notifications what's up with that man the hiccup on these platforms is crazy maybe discord sent it out here's another quartz with some kind of minerals there right Whoa. all my brain can think is what some of these would look like in a rock uh, tumble oh man you would get hurt 
well maybe it was original store of value in some cases as well of spiritual if store of value indeed crystals and gems have always been a great store of value right more rocks discord did send it out okay great right on discord discord is good and if you guys aren't on discord you should join our discord I don't know what that is it's just another clay thing here's another quartz check this out lots of pyrite in there absurd can't you show a rock tumbler is it is a tool for oh the rock tumbler that's right that's what it is yeah 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 my partner's got some of the some polished stuff oh thank you cheryl gang you want to get notifications make sure you get your notifications join our discord page discord is pretty good in sending out notifications okay i like igneous rocks basically you throw the rock in a cylindrical container with some water and then it polishes it all uh the rocks super smoothly cool i personally don't want all my rocks and gems and stuff to be polished I like the raw lookness of it I do like some of the stuff polish for sure I would love to sometimes ha you know have the cutter of the rocks cut the rocks and polish one side right and my partner has some of those rocks uh, where one side is polished and the other side is raw so you get a feel for what it looks like right pandemic watch my my grand uncle was a um, mineralogist super cool stories where he had cases of specimens in his house some with black lights yeah there's some that glow uh, under black light right here's another uh, rock I picked up I don't know what the significance of this one is again just mineralization of stuff right this stuff is my blood uh, carting around rocks when I move yeah me too <laughs> they're heavy <laughs> moving rocks is heavier than moving books I got lots of books and some rocks well now we got lots of rocks and lots of books and man moving uh, can be great exercise right I wish I hope they're still there if not I'll find more find more I prefer being able to see both states rather than only polished but polished are gorgeous polished are gorgeous but I want I'm with Cheryl I like seeing both states check this one out I'm bringing out some smaller rocks that I have here these are more of the coral fossilization that we looked at before yesterday right so this is I believe coral fossilized That's super cool Absurdicon Chicho. I also prefer the rough look, but some samples of the polished uh, are nice too. Tiger eye, yeah. My I think my partner has a tiger eye. Uh, look at that. Super cool, eh? Uh, tiger eye course, for example, is pretty wild rough, but it's absolutely beautiful. It really comes out after it's been polished, indeed books plus rocks i know the drill yeah. <laughs> so heavy so heavy look at that that's beautiful really when will you show us some of your partner's rock? we have a uh keith we have a video out there the first crystal video that i shared was showing my partner's collection uh i'm actually going to create a crystal mineral fossil rock playlist on uh, on youtube but if you do chicho crystals there's a video that we put out where i show go through my when we moved into the space like five years ago when i was unboxing all the crystals and rocks and minerals and uh, we go through the all of it basically and it's beautiful her collection will blow you away she worked in a 
uh, crystal store for a few years and was able to get her hands on some amazing samples. Look at this. There's some of that stuff right there that was, uh, see that? Maybe, maybe. Oh, there's some of these guys. Take a look. See those flat guys there? These guys right there? That's the same guys as these guys, I believe, right? That we looked at yesterday. Take a look. See that? These guys, and this, I got a plate full of these that crumbled on me after I washed it, right? Not the, not, not these flat guys, but the material hosting it, right? Crumbled. And this seems to contain the same type of crystals right there right cool so for sure I think it's the same type right I'm gonna put this with these guys as well in the same plate so they're all together yeah we'll put it together Fossils are badass too, but they're much harder to identify, much harder to identify. Here's some more rocks. Major, major rusting on here, oxidization, right? Cool. Take a look at this one. That looks like a face right there check that out that guy right there looks like a face there's the eye there's the nose and there's the mouth oh aliens <laughs> look at that thing <laughs> and he's smiling there's a smiling rock face right there super cool super cool it's incredible just how many things lived and died in this planet indeed another one uh, you pick up had three faces on the same stone really and i like this because it shows the mineralization right there a vein right see that nice vein and it goes on right? oh we got a little bit of rock stuck and what is that vein gold cool yes i love finding images and stones yeah it's like cloud watching right here's uh more tourmaline i believe another face on the left was there oh we moved on take a look at this then thinking of all the hidden scenes inside indeed the stories told this is tourmaline right. inside i believe this is feldspar it's got the feel of it greenish tint to it and this is like fracturing oh here's another felt spar this belongs with my feldspars. This belongs with the other feldspar. This I like the green feldspar, really. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I like the planes, the geometry of the feldspar. Right? 
tourmaline comes in huge variety of colors and each color has a special name i forget what the black one is uh, called oh yeah i have black and brown tourmaline here we looked at some brown tourmaline yesterday uh, which is great but really i love this green term um feldspar very cool look at that shine eh? and unpolished this is unpolished right this is in raw nature take a look at this one quartz with a crystal of something in there the sun is shining so the camera is now trying to figure out how to focus on this scroll that's the black tourmaline scroll oh is that what it's called the black tourmaline let's get the sun shining on it quartz with other minerals That one right before carve a thin plate off that inside and make a necklace yeah yeah you could and it's and the feldspar is very it's solid rock right and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity let's see if this will focus it should be able to focus there you go look at this crystal there the black one I wonder what that one is lots of quartz in there right cool and then more igneous just straight up igneous rock right beautiful I just love the sort of polka dotty look at this right white gray black and you get pyrite in there at times right gold beautiful look at the mica again more and i believe there's tourmaline in this maybe i see striations look at that <laughs> here's another what would this one be I don't know wow that's beautiful I think those are metamorphic rocks igneous tend to be a, a bit less shiny except for like volcanic glass aka obsidian so these ones are metamorphic you believe yeah okay possibly it might be like i live in a place area where we've got lots of different types of igneous rock this one i don't know this one's metamorphic you're saying i believe 
right? Maybe. Or maybe the other ones were. And metamorphic rock, for those of you that want to know, is a rock that's formed by putting other types of rocks under high pressure and high heat. And high pressure, really. Uh, high heat follow, follows high pressure. And, uh, and it makes the rocks harder to a certain degree, especially sedimentary rocks. Here's a uh, more rose quartz. It's weird the the pinkish pink pinkish of it is not coming out as well in the camera, but there is a pinkish look to this. Metamorphic rocks are usually a mixture of minerals like granite. Has a lot of different minerals that give it that pretty texture and color. Yeah. So this has a really good, it's got a pink color to it. You can see it more further away, closer up. There's less, less feel of the pinkiness of it. Uh, here, let's see. This is white and that's got the pink color, right? So rose quartz and more milky quartz, I guess, right? This guy's heavy. Let's take a look. No, it's pretty hard. This was so white, like crazy white. Like, look at this thing. So white. pretty like look at the whiteness of this thing eh? just stands out this has got to be a feldspar just a plane the the cut on it right take a look it's got to be a feldspar this this cut the geometry of it. Let's see if it'll focus. It's pretty thin. Absurdicon. Sedimentary rocks are usually what you find fossils in. Yeah, but you could get metamorphic sedimentary rocks or sedimentary rocks that have been under high pressure uh, temperature because they are usually so sedimentary rocks because they are usually this one's a really heavy rock it's pretty heavy it's not magnetite yeah there's doesn't attach to the magnet but it's got iron in it for sure um, so sedimentary rocks are usually what you find fossils in because they are really just hardened versions of mud sand clay etc if you grind up a piece of sandstone you'll get sand slate and limestone are other examples slate i believe was used for chalkboard before uh, blackboards were manufactured really that's cool as you can tell my collection is associated with a lot of uh, a lot of quartz and a lot of uh, sort of minerals right and you use slate by the way one thing one place that you use slate I used to have one was uh, uh, slate pool tables where the pool table is sitting on uh, slabs of slate 
playing on a slate pool table is amazing amazing ah check check that's right pandemic watch take a look this is one of the ones we looked at uh, yesterday with uh, here let me show you let me bring these guys here as well we looked at these guys yesterday right this mineralization I forget what this is called it's actually rare this one this blue mineralization mineral that you see here is quite rare and finding this vein is beautiful right and here's another chunk of it this is how rare it is I found these in a ground up right so I'm gonna keep these together it's beautiful color to it like really very beautiful color to it okay I've never found any stone like this nice fun yeah this was rare like when I found this it was like oh I was so excited I wish I remember what the name of this thing was yeah Cheryl I love this one seriously just beautiful just beautiful so cool so cool <laughs> blue stream rare in nature I'll grab some more of these little little things I have show you oh look at this one beautiful ten thousand dollars <laughs> look at this little guy just a little teeny weeny one Danite Sabchicho how you doing brother nice guy thank you brother this is years of years of collecting and working in the field of geophysics right surround yourselves with things you love gang brings you happiness right and people you love we get a Barney's yay Chicho what's going on we're looking at my crystal rock mineral collection it's got iceberg the plants rocks this one pyrite looks like a mini asteroid looks like a mini asteroid the other one yeah for sure lots of pyrite lots of pyrite what's the difference to geophysicists and geologists haha <laughs> we get a barney's i asked that question from that's the question that got me to get into geophysics okay focus on rocks i imagine uh, indeed ge uh, geophysicists can focus on rocks as well uh, but this is a question that I ask my grade 11 and grade 12 geology uh, earth science and geology instructor I remember this well geophysics is a bigger picture okay here's what my teacher said and I had taken grade 11 earth science with him right and he was a really good teacher fantastic teacher sure elder god knows the answer i know you know the answer elder god how are you doing uh and i've mentioned this before by the way someone has to come up with a, a punchline this is the punchline check this out so i took grade 11 earth science with him and loved the course and he was a really good teacher and he cared and he explained how nature works and stuff and i've always loved nature and i think personally I think earth science should be a mandatory course here's a little bit more blue check this out gang earth science should be a mandatory course in high school there's like blue there right mandatory course in high school as far as I'm concerned we as human beings should know understand the planet we live on right so I took earth science with him and I found out he was teaching geology 12 so next year I took geology 12 right and you know we we're learning geology and he started talking about geophysics and i was like and i was taking physics and mathematics and chemistry 
right so it was full of sciences and I didn't understand geophysics he mentioned it a few times and I put up my hand and I said listen uh, and his name was mr. Stewart I remember him well and by the way I thanked him years later I went up to him and said thank you very much for your course because uh, because of how fantastic you were I decided to go into that field because you made it so interesting so I put up my hand and I said mr. Stewart uh, what's the scoop I don't understand what the difference is between geologists and geophysicists and he he looked at me and he looked at the class he goes listen geologists know where oil should be found geophysicists know how to find it and I sort of went what because geologists know where oil should be found geophysicists know how to find it right and I sort of went well then geophysicists might be more sought after right he goes yeah probably because they know how to do something instead of thinking about the theoretical they know how to find something so from that I went I don't know if that's 100 percent true because geologists know where to find oil and minerals and less oil more minerals mining and stuff like this uh, but that was sort of what made me go into geophysics aside from the physics and the mathematics this has got a nice greenish tint to it I think we've seen this type before very cool thanking teachers gives back thanking teachers gives back again did we look at this one yeah we did look at that one here's another quartz here's mica and here's more blue check it out this I remember this well we went to this quarry and it was known for this mineral very rare and we're looking to find the blueness of it and we ended up finding I ended up finding some I'm gonna put this with the blue guys so the blueness is right there I don't know if it'll come out well enough is that aquamarine I don't know is it in that video all our god cool 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 here's another little bit of blue I'm putting this is good actually I'm sorting my rock collection check that out here's another blue so I'm able to put everything in one place again that's how rare this is I was I'm holding on to crystals rocks this big I never had a teacher that put me on my engineering path but I did had that one teacher that taught me how to be kind to others oh man then that that's an amazing teacher I have one of those as well sister Gilbert in grade 9 the kind kindest teacher I've ever had what a kind human being the blue ones the blue rocks are from Ontario I'm pretty sure that's where I found them another course with lots of mica and stuff right. this might actually just be glass but I kept it <laughs> All right. these are the last last five pieces here that I'm gonna show you guys check this out this is again it's got a little bit of greenish tint to it is it tourmaline I'm not absolutely sure I don't think so I don't see the striations on there appetite oh it might be appetite too you're right it might be appetite and I remember the name s it started off with an s but it might be appetite it from Canada yeah it is Canada Ontario I 
and I think we have enough time after these five, I'm going to show you a little bit, a couple of more rocks, five more rocks from my partner's collection. Okay. Just random, random pieces. This one was, is pretty because it's quartz. It's got mica, but it's got like yellowish tint and orange to it, rusty. This one is from uh, this guy, I believe. Where did I put it? It's a chunk from this guy that fell off. I have to put it together, keep it together. Where would it be? I don't know. How's our thing work? But I think it's from this piece. So I'm going to put it together. Keep them together. Okay. I love this piece, by the way. Let's put this guy there. And oh, look at this. Look at the blueness of this one. Nice. So are we deciding that this is appetite? Look at the blueness of this. Nice. So it's got a layer of blue. Let's see if we can get it nicely focused. If the blue will come up. Focus better. See that? Hard to say, but the tint of the color is about right. And location is it? Okay. Cool. I'm going to put these together. Let me show you five more pieces from my partner's collection. Let me show you these guys amazing specimens did we say blue is rare in nature indeed indeed look at this one look at this one look at that blue kryptonite look at this piece i agree with uh gold it does look about right but it could be other things. Wow, wow. Azurite, it could be Azurite. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful piece, right? Lapis, Azurite, Mexico. That's fabulous. Is it from Mexico, this one? Maybe, my partner will know. She knows her collection well, very, very well. beautiful and it's got a crystal structure there too right you can tell you can see it sort of right. see that that's fabulous yeah imagine that two mile wide hanging out and there's interstellar space lots of azurite from africa too cool and I've gang, I've been down a silver mine in Mexico. It was one of the trippiest experiences I've ever had. What crazy conditions and green. Look at the green on this. This thing is so fluorescent color. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this beautiful thing. Malachite. Yep. Is <laughs> it? I think so too. <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. You could take down Superman with this. Omega Man.
Look of polished version of Malachite. It's incredible. Cool, cool, cool. Beautiful. Check this out. You want to see blue and green together? You want to see blue and green together? There you go. What a specimen. Are those crystals good for you? Uh, as an energy wise, I never really fully. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is they bring us joy, and that's good enough for me. These are real gems. Look at this. Wow. Azurite and Maracite are both copper uh, uh, derived. So they are commonly found together. Yeah. So mineral deposits, right? Look at this thing. Just trippy. Oh, let me get this thing focused better. Look at that. So cool, so cool. Look at that, like the lay the the thing that looks like a road. Got to go. Thanks for my pleasure, Danite. Thanks for popping in. I hope you have a fantastic day, brother. gorgeous absolutely gorgeous piece right look at that i really like this piece get a close-up look at it nice close-up look Check out this one. Look at this quartz crystal. Beautiful. Turquoise in there. If so, it's a crystal social. Crystal soloya. Ah, you found the timestamp on it. 1040. Nice, Elder God. Nice quartz crystal. Beautiful. Rare. I don't think it's um, this blue color to it. I don't think that's very common. Right? Yeah, Cheryl. Super beautiful. Crystal Cola. Ah, thanks for the pronunciation of Serticon. Amethyst. Yeah. Big gigantic piece of amethyst. Crystal. Your favorite, really? Nice. Look at that. Ah, you just woke up, Elder God. Good morning to you, or good evening to you, Elder God. This is so fun, yeah. Agreed. And I'm going to show you one more piece, and I don't know what this is, but look at this thing. Look at this guy. Okay, gang, what is this? What is this? It's got a metallic feel to it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Like it's it's Stibnite? Oh, <laughs> 
I don't know what this is. Look at that. And there's another crystal growing out of it. And then take a look. Step night, yeah, step night. More kryptonite ice. <laughs> this is probably the one that Superman throws into the Antarctic to make his uh, fortress of solitude, right? I think it's Stip Knight, uh, Absurdicon says. Was your hands after handling that? Really? Wa wash your hands after handling this? How come? Tell me, tell me. Stipnite contains the element antimoya, which is not good for humans to have. Really? Kind of like touching lead. Oh, what? Okay, I gotta go wash my hands. Good thing we're looking at this last one. Thank you for letting me know, gang. I'll pass it on to my partner. Don't lick it. Don't lick it. Okay, I won't lick it. And we'll keep it out of the way of the cats super cool and it does have a sort of a um what i call a mercury shine to it so super cool super cool i'll wipe down my mouth as well definitely don't lick it <laughs> i'm gonna turn on my camera again uh because that's it that's it oh i got the sun shining in my eyes i got the sun shining in my eyes gang i hope you enjoyed the stream fantastic liquid metal liquid metal i ain't saying anything I nonsense. <laughs> thank you for being here gang i hope you enjoyed the collection finally we got a chance to look at my rock and mineral rock mineral fossil and crystal collection with a little teaser of my partners as well so i think at some point we're gonna get a close-up look at my partner's collection as well okay and uh, because i think some of her stuff as you can tell will look amazing under the light right fantastic fan thumbs up thumbs up 100 percent, we do thank you very much for the cheers uh gold threads appreciate it gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs my pleasure cheryl thank you for being here thank you to the mods for being here taking care of business and uh, making this these streams uh helping to make it extremely enjoyable fantastic fantastic great stream my pleasure gang so we got three of these videos so these streams will load up uh, one after another on the platforms that we're sharing information okay my pleasure my pleasure that's one of the beautiful things about having collections is sharing your collections right i wouldn't want these to be locked up in a box at some point they were when i was doing moves but it's amazing having them open uh to share and for people to see right elder god thank you thank you aside from that gang uh quick outro if you want to know what this is about i am on patreon watch this it's great oh that's the uh, that's the mineral one for sure what field of uh mechanical are you in absurd account asking i'm sorry i am on patreon gang patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work if you want to follow this work patreon is a great way to do so for those of you that have been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who are supporting this work on twitch Thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the conversations thank you for the bits thank you for the cheers thank you for using up the points and mods again thank you for being here and taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live for scheduled live streams or just before we go live for unscheduled live streams on mines vklo mine uh gab parlor when it comes back online and twitter and we do have a discord page where you can join our discord page and share information and participate in the discourse 
For live streams, when we don't have any visuals, the audio will be loaded onto soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O, and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. And we will be uploading this live stream, this video to YouTube, BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. And if you're on those platforms, you can support this work by sharing, liking, subscribing. And if you're on YouTube, you can join YouTube membership where there's a button here. And for those of you who've joined YouTube membership, thank you very much for the support, gang. Aside from that, everyone, thank you for being here. And if you want a little bit, a little bit of mathematics, and there's a lot of mathematics in these crystals, right? In nature, there's tons of mathematics. Tomorrow morning from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m., I believe, my time, PSD, we're doing a drop-in math tutoring session, and you're definitely welcome to drop in and talk mathematics, gangs. It's always a good time talking mathematics and comic books and crystals and everything else that we do here. Thanks for being here, gang. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. Bye, everyone.